Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior, welcome to this day, Lord, has given us together. Today we are meditating upon the world holds our future. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for, for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and hope. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. One of our greatest challenges is when we face in our lives, when we start judging our future by what our present circumstances. This is the loophole our energy enemy found by keeping God's children in a state of flux in the future simply because the present is somewhat chaotic or unstable. God wants to give us answers and connect with us in a way so personally that we know all beyond our doubt that he cares about us and everything we must might be facing in our lives today he is in the midst of all our challenges trial pain hurt and loss one of the beautiful promises i found in the book of jeremiah is when god spoke to the prophet jeremiah for i know the thoughts and the plans that i have for you says the lord thoughts and plans for welfare and not and peace not for evil to give you hope in your outcome God's word brings us the message of hope, peace, and welfare, spoken to Jeremiah for the children of Israel, are so powerful. It was then for Israelites, but now the same promise he has for us. The child of Israel, we were living in the time of great despair and hopelessness, but God was telling them that though their present situation wasn't the best, his plan for the future was very good. We see the love and mercy of a great God, offering hope by giving them the promise to hold on to through it all. God understood that they could be tempted to give up and they will give in. And with that knowledge, he gave them a promise and same promise he gives us today. The promise of hope, welfare, freedom, and prosperity. I want to encourage all my friends and family and readers, listeners here. That it does not matter how bad the situation is or how far it is gone. If we hold on to the promises of God, we are guaranteed a bright and even better future. The powerful principle God has taught the children of Israel was that they should not judge their hopes for the future through their present restrictions and obstacles. We need to proclaim the promise to ourselves daily, reminding ourselves that this is not final because God has a good plan for our future. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Now let's, this, let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty Wonderful God, Lord, today I decree and declare that the present situation and circumstances we are facing will not determine our future. I decree and declare that in the present pain, lies purpose for our future because our hope is based on your promise from you in jesus holy name i pray amen have a blessed day everyone and if god's going to talk to you tomorrow